What makes Nick McLeod a good gunner? Nick can run. He's got really good speed. He's got length, and uh, he just plays hard. He, he plays really, really hard, and he he has a dog mentality. Uh, you know, he is a very serious young man when you talk to him, and he takes his job really serious. So, uh, it's he's a great addition to us at the 53, and it, it's it's been really good for him and us the whole year. And you always talk about how you have to kind of work with what you have. When Adore was down, you didn't maybe have as much. Is it oh. nice now to have? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's, it's really good to have him back. You know, whenever you can get that speed and length on the field, that's always huge. How good is, uh, we, talk, we spent so much time talking about how good Graham is. <clears throat> Third guy, Elliot's pretty, uh, has had a lot of big kicks against you guys. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. See, uh, he's done a nice job, you know. Um, evaluating him coming out, I thought he'd be a really good kicker, you know, coming out of Memphis, and he, he's done that. You know, he's made some key kicks for him over the years and he's he's experienced you know so uh you know he does a good job of kicking off and he's a solid young kicker who's ascending in this league what do you make of that report that there was there some object game in play here is that something you notice is it it is what it is i'll just leave it at that like would that help that help the game? yeah <laughs> yeah if you can get a visual spot down there it helps is that but, something uh, you'll be telling the officials to keep an eye on I'm going to let them do them, and we're going to do us. I ain't going to worry about what they do. My primary focus is our guys, our battery, taking care of that. And, you know, I'm not going to worry about them. When, the, when the Richie had his problems, you know, and um, you guys went in a different direction, in, in your head, did you say it'll circle back to him, or did you not know that? You never know. You know, I always tell him that, you know, and I told him that. I was like, we're going to come back to you at some point in time, so you just got to be ready. And, and he has been. He's done a nice job uh, making good decisions down there, fielding the ball. And, uh, you know, he's, he's done he's done a, a really good job being mentally tough down the stretch. I mean, he's, a, he's feisty. Yeah, he's, yeah. I mean, he's a, you know, with us he is. With, yeah. I don't know if he is with you on the field he seems to be. He's, he's a competitor, you know, and, and he wants to he wants to do well. You know, these guys got professional pride. You know, they don't want to go out and fail like anybody else in their line of work, right? So when, when they make mistakes, they – they're chomping at the bit to go back and, and try and correct the mistakes. I know you pay attention closely around the league. I'm wondering, what do you think when you see Brett Maher on uh, Monday night? You know, that that, that, that situation, and you, you feel for a guy, you know, going through stuff like that. Uh, but, you know, that's, that's life in the NFL. We all have our situations we all got to go through. Uh, you know, kickers, punters, quarterbacks, like stuff like that happens. You know, you guys, some some guys, it's ball security issues, fumbling, running back. So that's just, this league is made it's made up of guys that that are tough minded guys and that have got to work through situations like that because we're all at some point in time, coaches and players are going to come across something like that. We got to work through. So, you know, you wish them the best. And, you know, to, you, you hate to see anybody go through any stuff like that, like any of the yips. You know, that's, how would you that's, handle it? Like if, if uh, you're you had a kicker was struggling like that during a game are you of the belief hey let's just scrap it for today we'll go back worry about it during the week or are you, just, are you of the belief hey keep putting them out there for opportunities to try and get it right yeah i mean for me i i, I would think that you just that guy's made a, a thousand extra points in his career you know and sometimes you just go through those situations and you just got to work through it get in the net figure out you know what you're doing and calm yourself down more than anything you got to calm your brain down because if you miss four extra points you know that you've done it your whole life you know so there's something there mentally that you're that you're not doing correctly and you guys got to work through it and sometimes you got to go sit down and you might have to go for two you know but uh yeah you just hate seeing anybody have to go through that It was awesome, you know. It, it, anytime you can win a playoff game is awesome. So, it, it was a fun experience for me. It was more for the guys, you know, seeing guys like Say and, and DJ and Dex, you know, go through the things that they went through, you know, as young players coming up X, uh, and then to be able to experience a playoff victory is is really fun to watch them celebrate and, and enjoy. Austin Scott has a longer turn to get here. What makes him so dangerous as a turn? <laughs> He's not, he's not small, he's just short. He's a strong runner, right? Uh, really good contact balance. 
you know, you watch him, you hit him, and he just hits the ground, spins around, puts his hand on the ground because he's low to the ground already, and he can run. You know, he runs physical. He has really good short area quickness. And, uh, you know, a lot of times because he's shorter, you know, he's behind the players, and all of a sudden he just darts out, and he comes up on you pretty quick. So, you know, he's he's a he's a pain to deal with, you know. So we just got to do a good job of just leveraging the ball, keeping him inside and front and getting him on the ground. You've been around here for a while, and you've seen what he's done to the team. It's like, what, is it kind of hard to even explain or understand? Yeah. It, you know, it is what it is. I mean, it's, that happens in sports sometimes. Uh, but he's a really good football player. He's a really good football player, and he's done a, he's done a good job over against us over the years. You have plenty of familiarity in that building down there as far as the kicking game goes. Do you go in? I mean, obviously, you prepare the same way when you get out there in pregame and stuff, but night game in the middle of January, I know the weather's not going to be too, too bad, but how do you guys approach that? Do you lean on the experience that you've had? Yeah, just like every other game, you know, we got a veteran kicker, and, um, you know, he gets out there and we'll survey the scene, the wind, and all of that stuff. And uh, he'll go through his normal routine like he does, and we'll just talk about the lines and which way we're going and, you know, how we want to kick in a certain direction or not want to kick in a certain direction or what direction we want to kick. We'll go through all that whole process. So that's the same stuff we do every year. It's no different. Is there, more, is there uh, other returner, Kobe, was like a, really like an All-American or something in college? Did you get – how good was he? And was somebody that you had any interest in bringing here? You no, I, I, I watched him. We, we evaluate him in college. Uh, you know, he – same thing he did in college, same thing he's doing here, you know. So he's a hard, straight, fast guy. He's very tough. Uh, you know, we call him demolition man. You know, he's just – he's real tough. And, and he's hard to get on the ground to be as, as small as he is. He's hard to get on the ground. He's slippery. Uh, but uh, he, he's he's a really good young player. And his, I think it's his grandfather. Writes some really good books. Matthew, a little disappointed Brandon make or pro you. You know that, that that that's you know that's one of those deals. You know he, he has no control of it. We have no control over it. Just make our kicks, and whatever happens happens. Um, but you know I I feel a certain way about Graham. He's done a great job over the years, and uh, you know his numbers speak for themselves. You go back and you look at his numbers over the last four or five years; they speak for themselves. So.